Okay, so this is the uh, first numerical example from your tutorial sheet. Um, so from question one, uh, shows the certain feature uh, and dimension of a simple engine mechanism for the Formula Student uh, Racing Car Engine. Uh, so this is the um, diagram which is given. Uh, you are given the uh, diameter of the uh, piston, uh, which is uh, 60 millimeter. Um, so you are also given the, uh, the mass, which is 0.1. And you are given the L, uh, which is uh, 100, uh, and R is uh, uh, 25 here, uh, and W is in this direction, theta is this one, phi is this one. So at a constant uh, crank speed of this, so the data which is given is omega. So given data is omega, which is uh, 1500. Uh, radian per second here so omega is given uh, in addition to this um, uh, you are given is that the uh, and at crank angle theta is equal to 20 so theta is 20 degrees here uh, a net case pressure of p equal to uh, 6000 kPa so you are given a net pressure so this means that it's it's already the uh, the absolute pressure minus atmospheric pressure so you don't need to uh, do anything here it is just um, uh, 6000 kpa so 6000 uh, kilopascal or 6 into 10 power 6 pascal here acts uh, on the working phase of the piston uh, of the diameter d uh, for this condition calculate the acceleration of the piston so you need to calculate the piston acceleration here uh, this is the uh, the part a so part A is obviously you need to calculate the uh, acceleration, uh, which is uh, A or X double dot is unknown. We know that the equation for X double dot, uh, you will have this in your formula sheet or you can uh, copy it from here. So it's minus omega square R uh, cos theta uh, plus one over Q uh, cos two theta. So this is the equation for the acceleration here. So in this case, um, uh, we can calculate omega square, uh, which will be uh, 1500 uh, square here, which is become 2.25, 10 power six. Uh, and then you can also calculate Q, which is L divided by R. So 100 divided by 25, so which is become four here. Uh, so now we have everything for this equation uh, of the acceleration. So we can calculate acceleration from here. So from here, we can calculate acceleration, which will become uh, minus omega square. So 2.25, uh, 10 power uh, 6 here. R is, uh, is given, which is this 25 here. So 0 0.025 change into meter. And then inside the bracket, you have cos of uh, angle is given, which is 20 degrees, so cos of 20. And then plus one over Q, so one over four, cos of uh, two theta, uh, so which will become uh, 40 degrees here. Okay, so uh, now from here, we can uh, calculate the uh, X double dot which become equal to minus 63.63, 10 power three meter per second square. So you can see that the acceleration is, is, is very high here. Okay, so this was uh, the part A that you need to calculate. Now in part B, uh, what you are asked to do is the sketch and label a free body diagram of the piston uh, indicating its acceleration and uh, any forces present. So in this uh, B, uh, you need to draw the uh, the piston here. So this is our piston. And it's moving along this direction here. Uh, so one uh, force is of the this F1. So F1 uh, is the force, uh, which is the uh, you can say and, and another force is uh, F2, which is in this direction here. And you also have PA, which is the uh, in this direction here. 
uh, and you can say that this is your x axis this is your y axis and acceleration is you can uh, take the acceleration in this direction here and now this uh, f1 is the uh, is force of connecting rod on on the uh, on the piston uh, so connecting rod force So F1 is the uh, force from the connecting rod on the piston. F2 is the uh, is the force from the uh, cylinder wall. And then this uh, PA is um, is the gaze force or the combustion gaze force on the on the piston. This is how the uh, the free body diagram will uh, will look like, uh, which was our part B, which was uh, we asked to do this. And now in part C, what we need to calculate is determine the forces exerted on the piston by the cylinder wall, which is F2, and the connecting rod, and uh, clearly indicate their direction. So now you need to calculate uh, F1, the values of F1 and F2. You need to calculate uh, these values here. Okay, so uh, to calculate F1 here and F2, uh, we know that this angle here is, uh, is this phi angle here, uh, which is uh, not given, theta is given. Uh, so we can calculate pi from theta because we know these dimensions. Uh, so if you just um, uh, use the sine law, uh, so the sine law is just uh, uh, 25 or sine of pi divided by 25 equal to sine of theta divided by uh, 100. So from here we can calculate pi because theta is given which is 20. Uh, so pi uh, theta is given which is 20 degrees. So from here you can calculate pi, which become 4.9 uh, degrees here. Now, if you if you know pi, uh, you can also calculate uh, pa here uh, because you are given pressure and you are given the diameter. So pa become equal to six uh, into six here is the uh, is the pressure and time the cross section area. So you are given the diameter. So the area become pi by four d square which is 0 0.06 square is the area of the uh, piston uh, uh, piston head here. So in this case, you can calculate the force, which become 16965 Newton. So this is the force uh, PA here. Okay, so now uh, in the next case, what we can do is that summation of all the forces in X direction, uh, we can do this. And uh, here, uh, as you can see in this figure, uh, so is m x double dot the uh, the Newton second law in x direction because we have uh, acceleration in x direction here. So the first force, which is F one cos of pi here, and minus P A equal to m x double dot. Uh, so in this from this equation we can calculate uh, uh, calculate f1 because everything is given here so f1 cos of uh, 4.9 minus pa which is uh, we just calculate is this value here so minus uh, 16965 equal to m so m is given which is uh, mass of the piston uh, which is this value here so 0.1 and x double dot so x double dot is given uh, which uh, we calculate in the part a here which was minus 63 0.63 10 power uh, 3 okay so uh, everything is known uh, other than f1 so you can calculate f1 here so f1 become equal to 10.64 kilo newton so this is the uh, the value of the f1 here okay now we need to calculate f2 so we will just take summation of all the forces in y direction and equal to zero because the body is not moving in the y direction uh, the piston 
So if you just take this, uh, uh, the forces in the y direction, so one is F2 in the y direction, and then you have minus F1 sign up uh, pi here and equal to zero. So F2 become equal to F1 sign pi. And obviously we are given F1 now. Uh, we calculated it here. So 10.64 uh, kilonewton uh, and sign up uh, 4.9. So this is obviously 10 power three. Uh, so this become equal to 910. Uh, 910 newton here so this was uh, what we asked to do in the uh, in the part uh, c here to calculate f1 and f2 okay now in part um, uh, d uh, determine the instantaneous torque exerted on the crank so now we need to calculate the uh, torque on the crank here uh, so to do this uh, we will uh, draw the uh, the free body diagram for the uh, uh, for the crank here so uh, as you can see, this was our piston, uh, and the crank is somewhere here. Okay, so now this uh, force was F1, and now this force is also F1. And we also know that there is force of the frame on the crank, which is F1 also here. And then this angle is also pi, and this angle is also pi here, and this is theta angle. Okay, so now uh, we want to calculate the instantaneous torque. So torque should be equal to force into perpendicular distance. So in this case, to calculate the perpendicular distance, you need to ex extend this thing here. And we need to draw a perpendicular from here. So then uh, this is the perpendicular from uh, from this point to this point here. This is the 90 degree angle. So <clears throat> you can call this uh, OD here. So you will need to uh, multiply F1 with the OD distance uh, to calculate the, uh, the torque here. Um, and obviously, uh, then uh, we need to calculate this uh, uh, because F1 is given, which is this force here. So we need to calculate now the OD. Uh, so to calculate uh, this OD here, now as you can see in this figure that uh, if you just uh, draw this line here, this the vertical line. So now we know that this uh, is line and this line is the vertical line is perpendicular to this horizontal line. And then this... Uh, line is perpendicular to this uh, this line here uh, which is the line of action of the f1 so this means that uh, uh, the angle between this line and this line is also also pi here and now we want to calculate this angle you can call this angle alpha and now as you can see this uh, this whole angle This whole angle here is 90 degree. So you can calculate this uh, alpha angle. So alpha angle is just uh, 90 minus uh, pi minus uh, theta. So which is uh, 90 minus uh, pi is uh, 4.9 and theta is 20. So alpha become equal to uh 65.1 degrees so this is the uh the alpha angle okay so now if you know r here this is our r and this is our l so if you know r you can calculate uh, this uh, od uh so od is just uh is just uh 0 0.025 uh cos of uh, 65.1 so this is our od now if you want to calculate t so you will just uh, take the uh, take the f1 which is 10 power 10.64 10 power 3 into 0 0.025 uh, cos of 65.1 and then this become equal to 112 uh, newton meter 